The centenarian female has just heard the signal of her impending liberation. A call, the cry of the first babies to have reached maturity, still inside their shells, buried 20 to 30 centimeters underneath the sand. She will have to dig, uncover the nest, so that the young can hatch. Evidently, the yelps of the baby crocodiles have attracted one of the Nile monitors who was prowling about the vicinity. She continues to dig, always keeping an eye on this sly intruder, just waiting for the opportunity to seize a hatchling. female will continue to excavate in the sand for more than four hours. It is a colossal job given her corpulence. In the end, the Nile monitor does not have the patience to wait any longer. It leaves, certain that sooner or later, one of the young will stray or get stepped on by this one-ton monster. With incredible gentleness, the mother seizes the firstborn within her jaws, usually lethal on all other occasions. In fact, at the base of each tooth is a pressure detector, permitting the female to moderate her grasp. Under the weight of the hatchlings, her tongue hollows, forming a slight groove which can contain about 20 babies. She will carry them in this way in several batches all the way to the river. The first people to have observed the behavior of crocodiles believed the females devoured their newborns. This could not be further from the truth. Of all the reptiles, the crocodiles are the most attentive towards their young. Once all the young have reached the river, the father and mother will watch over their young for 11 or 12 weeks. The eldest has definitely broken all records. She has put a batch of 30 inside her snout. She now takes them among the water lilies in a safe place she has found. Two or three trips are needed to transport the entire family. Waiting for their turn, the newborns in the nest continue to hatch without much difficulty. Unknowingly, they already prepared their exit from the shell. Throughout the entire incubation period, the embryo plays an active role in its own development. It rejects carbon dioxide, causing a chemical reaction that renders the eggshell porous to oxygen and thus easier to pierce. Unlike birds and mammals, crocodiles do not have gender chromosomes. Therefore, the gender is not determined at fertilization, but rather during the incubation. It is essentially related to the temperature of the nest. Above 31 degrees Celsius, there will only be males. Below, only females. Since all of the eggs are not buried at exactly the same level in the sand, both sexes are always present in a brood. Miniature adults. All elements are present. Shape, color, 
scales, claws. The only difference is in the size. 15 centimeters long after hatching. 15 centimeters of fresh flesh multiplied by 15 or 20 or 30 seems like a steal for the Nile monitor. The same one is still on the prowl. The newborns are lucky that the Nile monitor has found a dead baby crocodile in its path, most likely crushed by its mother on her way to the river. The female returns for the third and last mouthful of babies. For nearly a century now, this female has returned each year at the same season, to the same place, to accomplish her duties toward her species. With many years of experience, she has perfected her gestures admirably. All of the young are now assembled in a nursery among the water lilies. Adults, crocodiles are practically invincible, but their youth is not so easy. If one of the young were to leave the nest, it would not last long. Fishing eagles, snakes, Nile monitors, herons would swallow it up in one mouthful. Despite the parents' vigilance, only 3% of the babies will make it to adulthood. A young Nile monitor has just spotted the crash. It has the instinct of a predator, but lacks experience and an awareness of danger. The Nile monitor is as agile in water as it is on land. It swims rapidly and quietly and can easily escape even the most attentive eye. But this mother crocodile is observing its every move. The mother has missed her target. The young Nile monitor was exceptionally lucky and had quite a fright. It regretfully gives up on this formidable meat safe too well surveyed. <laughs> 